Hello everyone, this is the Mining Geologist and I'm going to show you something cool today that you can do inside a Micromine and it's actually something not just cool but very useful. So uh, today we are going to do what we call mining blocks. So mining blocks some people are going to hear the word block and they're going to, going to think that we're talking about a block model but it's not actually a block model we're still using wireframes when it comes to mining blocks and we are going to take a look at that uh, in a moment so just uh, one thing I've noticed that 80% from the people who are watching my videos are not subscribers so please hit that subscribe button and subscribe to this channel because we post uh, videos about mining engineering, uh, geology, hydrogeology and anything related to geoscience so this is exactly the channel that you've been looking for for so long so hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, turn on the notifications so that you get notified whenever I post something new and please stick to the end of this video because I have something amazing for you guys so uh, as you can see here we have uh, topography and this is actually a good looking topography and we have uh, inside of it uh, a small pit uh, design a very basic one as you can see so what are we going to do is Actually, we want to have an idea about the different volumes of uh, at each level. So, for example, we want to know the volume at this level and the volume at the next level and so on. And there's a way to do that, uh, actually, if we create, you know, we know that this elevation, for example, if you hover there, you notice that the elevation here is 120. So uh, if you want to do that manually, I can create a plane at the elevation of 120 and then go and cut the pit at that elevation and continue to do that for every single one. Uh, every single bench in here, but that's going to take a lot of time. Also, we want to be, we are going to be interested in maybe subdividing it like this, so we have uh, some sort of uh, panels, and that's going to be useful when we do scheduling. So, how to do that inside Micromine? So the first thing, let's bring the row file. So this is the combination between the pit design and the topography. Let's go and bring the original file. So I'm going to hide this one and I'm going to bring the pit design, which is this one, and the topography. This is the topography. As you can see that the uh, pit design is a little bit more than the topography and that's really useful when you want to, you know, use uh, some sort of a Boolean, in, you know, operation for these uh, two or multiple wireframes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to plan view and then choose this tool right here that is the boolean for wireframes and I'm going to select all of them and right a click and now I can choose any wireframe that I want so what I'm going to choose is actually this pit design and just the part that covers the pit which is this one I click on control and choose this one and then I want to save both of these as a single wireframe so it's going to be a closed wireframe so I can get the volumes inside this wireframe so let's go and save this one I'm going to save it inside DDM I'm going to call it pit uh, volume. By the way, uh, if you're interested in pit design inside Micromine or Damp Design or Query Design, we have actually three courses using this amazing software. So I'll put the link in the description. So in case you're interested, go and check them out. And I'll make sure to put them on promo so you'll benefit from a really low price when you get them. So this is actually the uh, the volume that we've got so let's click on escape and let's hide the topography and the pit design so this is what we have in here and what we can do now if I click on this one you will notice that I have a volume right now 
okay it says that it's not valid validated so let's click on that and click on Q in the keyboard or maybe we can click on this here to validate the, the the wireframe so you can see that we have zero invalid connection zero open sections and zero intersecting triangles so we're good to go and this wireframe is good so the next thing that we want to do is let's go to wireframes and then let's go to operations and we can go and choose create mining blocks now the input is actually what we just created which is the inside bit I guess and I think it was inside DDM so if you want to know what are all of these things we've covered them in the, in the uh, training and we talk how what are these uh, sort of databases and how to create a lot of stuff inside Micromind so make sure to check them out so this is the bit volume and what are we going to do now is we are going to create what we call cutting profile so the cell size let's make it for example a thousand by a thousand so we are interested in you know uh, this is actually a, like we have a thousand uh, cell and in the X direction and a thousand cell in the Y direction so we're creating some sort of a you know a square here that uh, cuts this um, this uh, bit in here so and let's go and calculate all of these automatically and you can see that we have the number of cells is just one because it's uh, it's wider and larger and uh, taller than the the pit itself and now um, let's leave all of these so if you want to this profile that you've created if you want to save that as a file you can uh, check this box and you know specify where you want to save that so let's go to benches now and we go for let's say from toe for example and let's say that we want at an elevation of e uh, maybe let's go and first of all check the pet design what is the bottom elevation in here it's uh, 110 so let's go back to wireframe uh, operation and create mining blocks and then everything is exactly the same except for this one so let's go to DDM and choose bit volume and let's go so by the way if you are interest not interested in smaller you know volumes you can check this box discard you know volumes less than this or merge merge them with other volumes that are less than this value that you specify in there and let's go and do that again so we don't have any rotations by the way so let's go and choose a thousand by a thousand calculate that again now go to benches so the elevation is 110 we start from the toe 110 we are going to call this one and then let me go uh, starting sorry uh, starting uh, toe is 110 uh, let's call this uh, bench or maybe let's specify that one number of benches uh, let's say we have one two three four five maybe let's say ten and autofill that bench height cannot be empty so okay so starting toe, toe is 110 bench name number of benches 10 autofill Oh, sorry, so I forgot about this one. Bench height is 10. Sorry for that. And if you go to here and autofill that, you can see that it created all the different benches automatically. And the output, we are going to maybe create another uh, type in here, new type. We're going to call this uh, maybe uh, benches and click on OK. And uh, let's leave them the way they are and uh, we are not interested in any of these and click on OK and as you can see that six wireframes have been created let me go to the benches and let's go 
and choose and go and display all of them and now let me go and hide the pit and these are the different benches and uh, maybe let me see you will notice that we have the different volumes by bench so now what you can do is let me go and hide this one and what you can do is you can go and change the uh, maybe not from here let's go to here and choose benches and let's pick up you know different colors for these by the way uh, you can if you created a set of wireframes you can you know do that automatically so um, so let's go and do this manually right now because let me go and display them and you can see that we have all the different benches in separate wireframes and this is actually very useful uh, later on so let's say you can go and calculate the volume in this one you can see that the volume is there and now we have the volume in the second bench and have the volume in the other bench and so on so I hope this uh, video or this tutorial was very useful for you guys. Let me know in the comments what kind of things you want to see, what kind of software you want me to show you, and if you are interested in other trainings. And please make sure to subscribe. And uh, I wanted to tell you in the end of this video, uh, I wanted to thank you first of all because you've been sticking around and watched the whole video. It means you are really interested. So. Every video that we have, uh, everyone that is subscriber and is going to leave a comment in this uh, uh, video, we are going to choose one of you guys and give him or give her our open bit design course for free. So that was the surprise. So I'm going to be doing these kind of uh, you know uh, giveaways every video that we post on YouTube so make sure to follow us in our you know upcoming uh, videos and turn on the notification to be notified whenever we post something new and see you in another video